Aperitu Moreno Glacier is undeniably one of the most spectacular locations in the Argentinian Patagonia. This massive wall of blue ice towering above the turquoise water of Lago Argentino is truly a phenomenal sight. With hundreds of visitors every day, it's not your typical landscape photography location, but it is still such a unique experience that it absolutely must be on your itinerary. Perito Moreno Glacier is located in the Los Glaciares National Park, an hour and 20 minutes drive away from El Calafate. It is an absolutely fabulous drive with lots of incredible Patagonian scenery along the way to keep you entertained. If you don't have your own car, there are buses from El Calafate that will also take you there. Keep in mind that you need to buy a ticket to enter the national park. If you already know the date of your visit, I recommend purchasing tickets online beforehand to save time on location. I will leave a link to the website where you can do that in the description below. There are two parking lots at the glacier. The one at the top is the closest to all the viewpoints, but it tends to fill up quickly, so you might have to use a larger parking lot a couple of kilometers down the road. There is a free shuttle bus that connects the two, so you won't have to walk all the way back. Hey guys, and a very good morning to you from El Calafate, the world famous Perito Moreno Glacier. That's where we are today in Argentina. We have just arrived, parked the car and now heading towards the glacier. It's really an amazing sight. I'm super excited about it because this one is one of the few, if not the only one, glacier that's still growing in size. And I gotta tell you, it's pretty impressive. I have seen a little bit of it already and whew, it's nine o'clock. The weather is beautiful today, fabulous. Got a bit of sun, got a bit of the clouds over the mountains, just perfect. Unfortunately, couldn't be here for uh, for sunrise because in summer it's just not possible. The park opening hours are from eight in the morning and then it's another 40 minute drive to the glacier itself. While well, the sunrise is much earlier at 5.50. But on the other hand, it was an excuse for me to slip a little longer today which is actually a good thing because i haven't had enough sleep for the last days and yeah that was definitely a welcome change so obviously it's a world famous site so not looking to create anything really unique here but it's still such an impressive amazing site that it just would be a sin not to photograph it so i have a couple of ideas in mind and uh, let's just walk around and see uh, what we can find and uh, take it from here. The most obvious way to explore and photograph the glacier is by foot. There are a number of walkways in the area and even though you're looking at the glacier from the distance, there are still options for a good photo. So the way this works is that there is a series of platforms called Balcony 1, Balcony 2 and then Balcony North, Balcony South that you can walk between. And each one offers a little bit different viewpoint towards the glacier. They're all cool. If you have time, I definitely recommend visiting them all. 
and just looking for compositions everywhere. I don't think there is a specific place that you definitely need to get. It's all about searching and looking and finding with your eyes what looks good and what doesn't. One thing I would say is that it definitely helps having somebody else on your team so that you can use that person to show the scale of the glacier because this thing is massive and if you just shoot it it's not always obvious. When it comes to lenses I definitely recommend getting something longer. Wide lens is not the best choice here. Uh, I would go with 204105 if you can only have one but uh, 70 to 200 can also come in handy. As for the like the order in which the platforms should be visited, there is no kind of prescribed way. Personally, I recommend starting with the southern one and then making your way north. But uh, even if you just visit one or two platforms, I can guarantee you, you'll be plenty amazed. The only way to get closer to Perito Morena Glacier is to take a boat tour. Some packages will take you across the lake and even allow you to walk on the surface of the ice. But we chose a simpler and less expensive alternative. A one hour boat excursion will get you near the glacier to take some photos and then bring you back to the harbor. There are a couple of options to choose from. We went with the Yellow Aventura and for the price of 1000 Argentinian pesos, which roughly equals 17 US dollars, it was quite okay. I can't say I enjoyed the crowd of other tourists, but I definitely did enjoy seeing the glacier from a lower perspective. Perito Moreno looks even more impressive and fabulous from this close. If you ever feel hungry, there is a nice cafeteria right next to the upper parking lot. We decided to make a quick stop there after the boat excursion and I think it offers a decent selection of items for very reasonable prices. Our plan for the afternoon was very simple. To visit the viewpoints that we didn't get to before the boat tour and then walk the coastal trail. The Coastal Trail, or Paseo de la Costa in Spanish, is a 1.5 km walkway that follows the lake shore from the upper observation platforms to the lower parking lot. You can walk it in either direction, but I suggest starting at the observation decks. That way it will all be downhill. And if you need to return, you can always take the shuttle bus back up. We're just finishing up the coastal trail and the great thing about this trail is that there is much less people here than over the top platforms and the viewpoints are pretty awesome as well you get this 
beautiful panoramic view of the glacier that you don't really get from the up above and it's also I gotta say pretty cool for photographers because at the end of the trail you get this pretty nice coastline with a lot of dead trees and boulders stones which has this classic Patagonian vibe to it I'd love to actually stay and explore this coast a little bit but unfortunately we kind of have time so we're heading back towards the car park and we have to wrap this up and go to El Chalten because that's our next stop and it's four and a half hours drives away from now but anyway today's been an awesome day at the glacier it's been more like touristy for me in the sense that I didn't really have a predetermined composition in mind I just took a lot of images and I'm sure there are some great ones that are worth keeping and it's really been more about just enjoying the nature just enjoying this grand miracle that Perito Mariano definitely is and uh, the great thing about it is that even though a lot of people come here every day and take the same kind of images the glacier is never really the same because it keeps changing its shape changing its form changing its size so every day it's unique and different definitely definitely a place worth coming to if you're in Argentina and Patagonia that must be on your uh, to-do list but anyway as I said I'm gonna be wrapping up here I hope you enjoyed this video hope you got something useful out of it if you did I would really appreciate a like also subscribe to my channel for more content like this in the future and uh, as I said we're going to El Chalten so I'm gonna see you guys there